Well, here we go again. Another big experiment. Uh, I'm taking these. These are the colors. They are the uh, metallic paint collection. Um, and I mix them with one part paint, uh, one part Floetrol, and um, I added a little bit of water to this blue and it's a little runny, so I'm going to use it uh, on the sides and use it up. And then I'm going to do a flip and flip and drag. And um, obviously going over this other painting that turned out horrid. So worst that can happen is I have two horrids in a row. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Flip and flip. I always hate this the very, very most, but uh, let's give it a try. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, that didn't turn out too bad. And one, two, three. Ooh, I'm getting better at that. Now, this, the pull and drag. Here we go. I'm even getting better at that. It's going to be fun. All right. Okay, this is going to be. Oh, let's let it. Let's. Let's let it sit up a minute and let it find its happy spot. Look at these bubbles. A lot of the bubbles were for the Amsterdam white. Um, I, I drained out my little eight ounce container and uh, so I can clean it out and I just let it drip out and there was bubbles in it. So we'll let it sit here for a second. Okay, here we glow. Yeah, this will be fun. Let's go. Corner to corner. You know, I haven't done this in a long time. And that's used the corner catcher. I think I'm going to do that today because I don't want to waste any until I'm ready to waste it. If you know what I mean. I guess you can see this. Whoa. Didn't want to roll it off the edge. Okay. Now I just need to go to this edge. There we go. Okay, let's Bring it back to the center. And let's see what we have here for patterns and designs. Now remember, these are metallic colors. Okay, I am going to look at this for a minute. And uh, I'll be back with some ideas of something. Hold on. Okay, um, this is a very light one. And uh, 
I, I think that the metallic will show up pretty nicely when, when it's dry. Uh, I added a little extra lines to it. Um, I'll do one so you can see what I'm talking about here. If I can find one, I'll do this one over here. Um, but I, I, uh, I kind of like it. I do, I do. I also like using my number two pencil for some reason. Because it harkers back to my drafting days. There you have it. I may fill a little bit, but when I'm done, 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 I'll come back and do a still shot. So, uh, stand by, I'll be back. Alrighty. Here's, uh, Here's a close-up. Um, I think it's going to be a, a fun one to look at when it's dry. Remember, these are all a pastel, so it should be um, a little shiny, a little lustrous, maybe. Uh, nothing dynamic, but it could be pleasant to look at, go with the right decor. Anyway, this is Richard, uh, Richard B. saying thanks for sharing this with me. We'll see you next time.